right, que paso? So as you can see, it's much later in the day. This has been like a wicked lazy Saturday. I got home and I was too lazy to unload the moto. So we're gonna do it right now. We'll unload this sucker. I gotta get it washed up because it's dirty. So we'll do that too and do a little bit of a quick walk around. So let's, let's get this thing rolling. All right, what's up guys? So I didn't do a real proper intro to the video. This is a follow up on the last video. So if you haven't checked that one out, be sure to go back and take a peek. But basically this is a 2014 Victory Hammer 8 ball that I picked up over the weekend. On the last video, I show you where I actually meet up with the dude, pick up the bike, all the drama that we had to deal with there. So be sure to check that out. Here I'm just setting up the ramp so I can unload it. I will be posting a few official videos of how to load and unload motorcycles so you can take a look at those in the following days to come but it's pretty easy peasy with these ramps loading and unloading for dummies I mean what could go wrong you know alright so we'll widen the angle here a bit look at that I can still jump up into the back of the truck even in my old age And here I'm taking the uh, taking the tie downs off, and we'll get that sucker back down to the ground. Let's see if I drop it here. This could be interesting. Easy does it. Easy does it. Bam. Like a boss. That's one of my favorite phrases like a boss alright so the bikes officially off the truck we got it unloaded I'm gonna put the ramps away nice folding design easy storage compatibility make it look so easy you tried doing this out in 150 degree weather alright there she does it bike is out of the truck And I think from here, we will get it all washed up. The bike was pretty dirty. Not like neglected dirty, but just spent a little bit of time sitting, collecting dust dirty. And I'm out. Oh, wait, hold on a second. What's this? One more surprise for the viewers. Hold it. Bam. All right, there we go. All right, let's move on with the show. Now obviously all kinds of different ways you can wash a motorcycle. I just get some simple spray cleaner and microfibers and do it that way. I'm not like a professional detailer, it's just about getting rid of the dust. back to the voiceover I didn't really have a proper ending to this video either man I was really dropping the ball with this video completely disorganized completely unacceptable so I apologize here I am hitting the strip and seeing if I can hit my top speed 675 thousand miles per hour on this guy here and this actually isn't sped up believe it or not you guys but anyway uh, this is just kind of a close to the video so I end up in the next video doing the walk around, taking it for a spin, all that good stuff. I just had major audio issues. I didn't want to put you guys through that. But as always, if you dig the content, be sure to like and subscribe. Smash the like button. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see. 
if you haven't checked out the video before be sure to go check that out and also I've got the Harley Davidson Dyna switchback as well a lot of exciting stuff to come again the idea with this channel is I buy and sell so these are two bikes that I've purchased in the last couple weeks and in the coming weeks fingers crossed we'll actually be able to sell the bikes as well see if we can make some money maybe lose some money it's always a gamble it's like going to the casino the best way to invest and just I'm not a financial advisor you guys but just some uh, word to the wise right <clears throat> of course I'm joking around alright so here I am this is one of the spots where I go and take photos of the motos it's always nice to have a good backdrop so we'll check this out I'll, uh, I'll speed it up a little bit and then like I said I will bid the adieu bid the farewell and bid the good riddance my friends as always thanks for tuning in hasta la vista y hasta la próxima hasta la next time nos vemos got that back tire skidding so I hit up I, I think I either hit a hundo or I was very close to it which on the Harley switchback that we did the review on recently which if you haven't checked it out go check it out 2012 Harley switchback anyway on that one granted I wasn't necessarily trying to max it out but I there's no way I, I barely got into 80 miles per hour on that sucker 